Hey, let's talk about games. Hello my friends, welcome back. You're listening to Hydra. Today we're going to be going through a bolter build for you. A fairly basic build, but an effective build and a fun one. First up, happy Father's Day to any dads out there. Happy Father's Day to my dad. Have a good one, have a beer, have whatever you're allowed to have, and have fun. Now, talking about the build, let's start off with the perks, because this is the, the core of the build as such, and the, the core philosophy of this build. We're going to be revolving this all around critical hit, critical strength, and dealing big, big damage with our weapon. We're going to be firing quite slow, but we're going to be hitting hard. Because of that, I've started off with a rather good perk here, which will give me a lovely 10% critical hit chance. I sacrifice some health, but I can really put up with that 10% critical hit it is very very nice now this one here close quarters gunnery could be interchanged with one of many others because i've got a bolt gun currently that gives me plus 50 percent damage when i'm at close range bringing this up to 75 percent i feel is fairly good but you could quite easily exchange it for something else that's crit based like this one for example and there's quite a few other crit orientated ones that you could go for this is my preference honestly i don't think there is an absolute mandatory answer here but I might like to see your suggestions down below. Now, the last one, I'm actually using Utility Harness at the moment, and this isn't necessarily out of preference. I would much rather be using Armory of Zeal. The reason being, Armory of Zeal is it's basically going to allow me to use focus to use my i'm going to tell you what consumable in a moment but a consumable that's going to help me wreck nubs however for whatever reason armory of zeal is just not working for me today so the next best thing is the utility harness it's not as good it kind of sucks but it does mean i'm not eating into my focus constantly and i just about have enough of these consumables to get through each map still so this one's kind of working okay for me but if you really want to spam one of the consumables one of the belt slots or shield upgrades then the armory of zeal when it's working would be amazing for some reason it seems to be working for others not for me so that's interesting to say the least we're going into warfare just to get some bonuses uh, really to damage there's not much else to say here i'd like to move up to the precision because the extra five percent critical hit is rather lovely we're rocking 35 percent critical hit chance here but it is actually a little bit higher if we go through the skills now and we go over to the single target dps you can see we've worked towards plus five percent critical hit chance with a single target attack for your first hit against an opponent so that 35 goes straight up to 40 and we've also got every one hit kill restores 10 percent of max health now it doesn't actually restore 10 percent of your maximum health it seems to restore one percent but it's giving you something health wise so it's still quite nice to have although it's not quite as op as it looks at least it's not working that way for me ranged combat we're picking up just another two skill points here another two points in critical hit it's not the most impressive thing to see in the world let's look at something a little bit better and that is this glorious thing the main thing we're working towards here is a stacking 10 percent damage bonus up to 100 percent for 10 seconds when a critical hit results in a kill so this means if you kill a bunch of trash mobs bearing in mind we've already got a 40 percent chance to crit them with that first hit we're going to be getting a lot of critical hits for the first hit and we're going to get a lot of one hit ko's this is then going to stack up that damage quite quick and then you can pop those elites a lot faster so i'm really really digging this build we're also going with critical hits providing that focus point regeneration so it does mean that you could even use this with a rapid fire weapon something like an auto gun in your offhand and the amount of critical hits you'd be pumping out with the same build the same build would work i think absolutely fine with an auto gun you'd be regening a lot of focus and you could potentially use that to then go with the armory of zeal and complement that by giving you even more charges of say your void shield or your da -da -da -da. Oh, let's talk about it now we're going to be going with digital weapons which are i think very very good 30% critical hit chance for 30 seconds. It doesn't sound amazing. Maybe it does sound amazing, actually. To me, it sounds amazing, because that buffs me up from, remember, we go up to 40% for the first hit, up to 70. So that is a whopping great big number, and there are ways as well to increase this number further. I don't actually have a lot of critical hits on my current gear, so that's also looking pretty nice. We're basically stacking up as much as we can. We're doing some extra suppression damage with our um, critical hits, which may help, because our one ability on the the bolter does do a knockback so it can be used for a few interrupts if you've done a couple of criticals and this one here is just handy to get a little bit of extra crit going on now physical attacks as well you'll also notice that i've got this the physical damage crits 
apply a vulnerability and you might be thinking well the bolter guns one or left click sorry applies vulnerability anyway if we go over to our inventory here the left click single shot is is very very nice and it applies a vulnerability anyway but it does mean by having that other one it means 70 percent of the time assuming i've got digital weapons up um even my full auto will be applying vulnerability so i could actually use full auto to apply lots of vulnerabilities very quickly and then switch over to the single shot to sort of build up that damage a little bit further there's really a few different ways around this but it means that full auto is not entirely redundant i think most of the time i end up specking into single shot for this weapon which is amazing because it's single target armor breaking and applies vulnerability i mean it's just amazing there's a bit more damage on full auto generally but by the time you've hit the target twice you're doing more damage with single shot anyway so I, I really prefer single shot you'll be reloading less often too it's just very very nice aim shot as well very very nice but i generally find you're normally using single shot or frag burst but having that extra point in the physical tree applying those um, stacking vulnerabilities on crit for me makes full auto a little bit more worthwhile especially when you do find some lightly armored and it's still a single target ability now ah, and don't forget the special up here which is which is not bad a stacking 10 percent damage bonus up to 50 percent maximum one token per second attacking different targets and overgates the bonus etc so just basically this, this is a boss killer this is something useful for wailing on a one unit and stopping that fight from taking forever it's just going to speed it up a little bit provided you don't keep switching targets to kill the nurglings etc now we move on to focus regeneration here this is really just to keep the focus regen in there yes we're getting some per crit as well but more the merrier really more the merrier and i have really grown attached to invigorating faith which is probably not mandatory but having the extra healing on your armor usage even though i've got the reduced cost it's still very nice for me and it may even mean that it could synergize with the armory of zeal meaning whenever you pop those digital weapons it also acts like a heal this again is assuming armor of zeal actually works for you uh, unlike myself final few points here we're going for is for every 10 points of health healed you regain a little bit of suppression so this means every time you get a single target kill remember that ability up here we're going to be healing a little bit and this will turn some of that into some suppression every critical hit as well will also be healing us um, or giving us a little bit of suppression so i just find this one fairly useful to have just to keep that suppression up remember we on the deflection build we were rocking this but as we don't have that much deflect on a range build i can't really justify it i mean if you have two points spare it's not the worst thing in the world to put in but it yeah, hey it could be better now last few points i'm going to pop in one two three four which are going to make our armor breaking and armor piercing attacks do another 12 percent damage three six nine twelve and that for me is pretty damn good because the left click and the number one ability both are armor piercing or armor breaking which means both of them are going to get 12 percent flat off damage bonus lovely jubbly and as well as that as well as doing 50 percent extra critical hit suppression damage we're going to be doing an extra 50 percent suppression damage with our left click and one ability so this really gives us the opportunity to actually destroy some suppression and use our interrupt rather than having it void so for me this one's just a handy convenience that's here i would change this build up for the assassin a little bit there's lots of different ways you could do it i think debuff stacking with the assassin and having the ability here that gives you more critical hit percentage um, would work very nicely because obviously you would probably want to swap out the focus regeneration here um, so i would probably swap that out and i would move that up into the debuff tree and start heading up to one of these other than that i'd probably keep the build pretty similar there are obviously some variants you could do off this you could probably take the physical attacks out of this tree and start going a little bit more into the ranged combat there are some good things in here there are definitely some good things you could definitely make this build work with numerous different weapons as well it could be used with las weaponry obviously you could swap the physical to a heat um, you could probably make it work with most solid projectile weapons auto guns would be fine with it lads rifles hotshot lads rifles even snipers would probably do fine with this but the core philosophy is the same keep your adrenaline or your focus up nice and high and keep spamming those digital weapons because having that critical percent that high really is powerful obviously on the assassin you may well you won't have access to the armor of zeal instead you'll have to have the dodge uh, or deflect that gets converted then into extra or enemy hits against you get converted into extra adrenaline and dodged ones give you slightly less that would also be quite useful but you may want to you know build a little bit more tanky if you're actually intending on taking damage to regenerate adrenaline but just a thought guys 
there is a few different ways you could tweak this. You could maybe even tweak it as well with a HP regen converted into adrenaline regen, which is one of the other perks. And for the life of me, I can never find it. But that's another option too to keep that nice and high guys i hope you find the build interesting i hope it's something just to play with it really is a little bit of a template just so you can muck around but critical hit infinite adrenaline or a regening focus incredibly strong when stacked with the ability to basically spam those digital weapons which are incredibly powerful i think guys i hope you're having a great weekend don't worry we will be pumping out plenty of psycho videos soon take care guys have yourself a great week